Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's Nico's Treehouse. And the weather is just so good today. I just wish you guys had a wonderful weekend. So, in this episode of the video, I'm gonna be talking about the two movies that I just watched recently. I know they've been released for a long time, but for me, they are just like classic ones. Okay, so um, based on these two movies, I'm gonna be talking about the topic about the um, madness based on two genders, just like the madness for male and the madness for females. So the first movie is, is uh, like, the, like the Fight Club. I just watched it like uh, one month ago. And in this movie, it's about uh, a sales guy who works for the automobile recall department. It's pretty much like a white corner position. And uh, he's been there working like uh, some kind of a success salesman, but somehow he just feel the daily routine about his work is kind of boring and uh, he's been undergoing some kind of depression and some kind of a re revealed. But uh, in the novel, in the fiction, his name is like Jackson or Jake, something like that. And uh, I mean, the encountering for these two guys, they started to establish some kind of a fight club some kind of an underground fight club and uh, they just uh, gather some group of people they set this guy to relieve their pressure he's about to beat somebody and uh, being beat somebody it looks very bloody and uh, some kind of violent mm, but I think somehow it's, it's the way they took like some kind of therapy and in other movies which is called The Blank Swine this movie, I think, the team is pretty dark, and uh, there are some other storylines and the twist for this movie as well. But uh, I just want to talk about the the part, the actress who is a ballet dancer, who has promising career, but she is actually like very innocent, mm, soft kind of character. Her mother and uh, just like a very controlling mother who sets the goals for her daughter and as well as some very strict regulations she's been undergoing some kind of a um, depression as well and uh, she feels being controlled and uh, being struck by other people by, by, by her mother um, and uh, the way she just uh, relieve her pressure is pretty much like safe in the, in the very Safe destructive way and uh, safe harm, and uh, the way he observed to witness this world is um, in a very, very sensitive way, sometimes just overreacted. And uh, I think for me, it's pretty much like some female being undergoing some kind of a pressure and depression, the way they act. It's like a safe hate, safe destructive. Mm. They'd rather, instead of to do some harm to other people, they would like to to take harm. I know for these two characters um, from the movie, they are just like very extreme cases. Um, and most of the guys won't really act, act in this way, like they do in the reality. But I think, mm, Somehow it can be get conclusion just like just like the opposite sex they they would like to act um, different ways when they encountering some kind of pressure and depression. So I just want to get a, I just want to draw some conclusion for in these ways. And uh, as you guys know, that I've been reading some comparative literature. One of my favorite one is a very classic one, just like Man from the Mars and. Uh, Woman from the Venus by John Gray. I mean, this book is pretty much what I'm talking about by John Gray. I think from this book, there are some more conceptualized conclusions that uh, he's been st studying for years to do some research about the two genders, the way they act for the same issues, the same things, the same topic. And I also want to talk about another author which I love the most. Her name is uh, Jillian Flynn. She's the author for the 
very popular movie, which is called Gun Girl. And uh, I mean the original fiction for um, for that script. It's pretty much like a he said, she said way. One part is for the Nick Dunn, and another way is another part is for the Amy Dunn. So I think in that movie is uh, like uh, for the same issue, same topic. Two narrators is gonna talk about um, their own opinions towards the same topic. I think it's pretty much fun to read some kind of the um, comparative um, literature or studies on this topic. I think it's uh, it's like every lasting topic, and uh, I think it's pretty charming to me. So I mean, I I just wish the epidemic is gonna be over soon. Um, I already book appointments for my vaccination for the coming weekend. So I think um, as long as everybody's gonna support this vaccination project and being protective and being responsible to do themselves and as well as the people they care, I think um, this this bad thing is gonna be over soon. This ep epidemic is gonna be over soon. So everybody can back to their normal life. A very very normal weekend to me. Um, I just uh, got up very early, and um, as usual, and then I just uh, try to dump the gar garbage, clean up the room, and uh, as well as to fill up the gas, doing the grocery, and uh, what I just uh, purchased uh, the auto wash from the machine unexpected happened it's just like this it's very unexpected i just got this one and when i drove to the auto wash machine this one didn't work i mean this code and then just came to the shop to ask the stuff there and uh, the lady the, the very nice lady just told me oh it's because the the code is kind of small usually the machine is gonna generate a bigger a larger code that one's very very easy to scan and, and, and scan by the machine. So this one you have to manually to input the numbers under here. And okay, I just want to show you guys the books that I've been reading recently. Um, one of is from my favorite writer is JMG Lacalizio, and uh, there are two books that I've been reading recently. One is the Poison Door, Lafican. Um, they were both written in the French language. So, we, Julien Fancy, Kohaku, which is the confession, and with the Okiwangakuru by Sawamura. Roy, these two books as well, because they are, I think, the, the setting for these two books are pretty dark. Um, Kohaku, the confession, is like, a, it's like a, the revenge from a single mother for her little daughter. Um, I watched this movie a long time ago and uh, I think I just purchased this book because I like this movie so much. I just want to enjoy the original fictions for the movie script.